today we are mounting the pressure and temperature sensors on the test article basically we have uh, four temperature sensors and three pressure sensors and uh, one of them is going to be uh, placed uh, here and is measuring the pressure in the tank as you know uh, once we are hitting the water in the tank the pressure is going to increase and uh, it's very important to have uh, a constant um, pressure monitoring during the heating process in order to have full control of uh, what's happening uh, in the tank in terms of uh, pressure and uh, temperature. This is one of the pressure sensors that is mounted on the pneumatic circuit and the pneumatic circuit is uh, serving the um, pneumatic uh, motors that uh, are actuating the main the engine's main valves in the pneumatic circuit we have uh, a pressure of uh, 8 bars this is uh, another pressure sensor that we are mounting on top of the tank and uh, this is going to send to the flight command and control center data during the heating process the sensors are of uh, 420 milliamps industry standard, the sensors like uh, the one here. And um, the signal is sent to the flight command and control center where uh, enters into the data acquisition system. Before entering the data acquisition system, the signal is converted into 1 to 5 uh, volts. For example, this uh, sensor is uh, able to read pressures between uh, 0 to 20 bars and uh, for instance at uh, 0 uh, bars the voltage that is received uh, by the data acquisition system is 1 volt and at 20 bars is uh, 5 volts. Of course the voltage is uh, converted by the operating system of the data acquisition system in two bars and we are seeing on the display the value in uh, bars. Uh, also we have uh, the temperature transducers. These are the temperature transducers. On uh, this side we have the input from the K-type thermocouples. Imp the input is in millivolts and on this side is the exit, the signal exit also for 20 milliamps that is sent to the data acquisition uh, system from the flight command and control center. So basically these uh, temperature transducers are converting the signal from millivolts to 420 milliamps and uh, we are doing this because on a long distance transmission the signal is uh, getting altered and uh, we want to have a measurement as precise as uh, possible.